South Korea. This economic powerhouse is known for its innovation and global reach. But lately there's been a shift in the winds. South Korea's exports, a key indicator of its economic health, are slowing down. What does this mean for the rest of the world? South Korea is a major player in industries like technology, automobiles, and consumer goods. Its exports are a vital link in the global supply chain. When South Korea's exports stumble, the world takes notice. So what's happening in South Korea? And what can we expect in the coming months? Preliminary data for the first 20 days of October paints a mixed picture. Overall shipments inched up by just 1%. This might seem positive at first glance, but when we factor in an extra working day this year, the reality is less rosy. The working day adjustment offers a more accurate comparison to the previous year. When we consider this, South Korea's exports actually contracted. This slowdown comes after a 4.5% year-on-year drop in September. Does this signal a worrying trend for the export-driven economy? A closer look at specific sectors reveals some of the culprits behind this slowdown. Analysts have been meticulously examining the data, trying to pinpoint the exact reasons for this dip. Various industries are showing signs of distress, and the numbers are painting a concerning picture. Demand for oil products has taken a significant hit. The once thriving oil sector is now grappling with reduced consumption and lower demand from key markets. This downturn is affecting not just the oil companies, but also the workers and communities dependent on this industry. Shipments plummeted by a staggering 40.1% in the first 20 days of October. This sharp decline in oil shipments is unprecedented and has sent shockwaves through the global supply chain. Ports that were once bustling with activity are now eerily quiet. This decline is partly attributed to falling energy prices. Lower prices at the pump might seem like a boon for consumers, but for the oil industry, it spells trouble. Reduced revenue from oil sales is leading to cutbacks in production and investment. However, it also raises concerns about weakening global demand. The broader implications of this trend are worrisome. If demand continues to falter, it could signal deeper economic issues on a global scale. Unsold goods are piling up in warehouses, and shipping ports are seeing fewer vessels. Mobile phone exports are also feeling the heat. The tech industry, which has been a beacon of growth, is now facing its own set of challenges. Factories that once operated at full capacity are now scaling back production. They tumbled by 37.1% compared to the same period last year. This significant drop in mobile phone exports is alarming for stakeholders. Financial analysts are closely monitoring these trends, trying to forecast the long-term impacts. This is particularly concerning as mobile phones represent a significant chunk of South Korea's tech exports. The country has long been a leader in technology, and any disruption in this sector could have far-reaching consequences. Could this slump impact jobs and investment in the technology sector? The potential for job losses and reduced investment is a real threat. As companies grapple with declining sales, they may be forced to make tough decisions, affecting thousands of workers and the broader economy. Amidst the economic gloom, there's one sector that offers a glimmer of hope, semiconductors. These tiny yet powerful components are the backbone of our modern digital world. These tiny chips, often referred to as the brains behind our digital devices, are proving to be remarkably resilient in these challenging times. From smartphones to laptops and even cars, semiconductors are essential. While shipments did dip by 1.7% in the first 20 days of October, this slight decline hasn't overshadowed their importance. They remain a significant source of export revenue for South Korea, a country heavily reliant on its tech industry. The numbers may fluctuate, but the demand for these chips is ever-present. This relative strength in the semiconductor sector is in stark contrast to the struggles faced by other industries, such as oil and mobile phones. While traditional sectors grapple with declining demand, semiconductors continue to shine. It suggests that global demand for semiconductors, driven by trends like artificial intelligence, 5G technology, and the ever-expanding realm of cloud computing, remains robust and shows no signs of slowing down. These trends are not just fleeting fads, they represent the future of technology. As more industries adopt AI and cloud solutions, the need for semiconductors will only grow. Could semiconductors be the key to South Korea weathering the current economic storm? With their critical role in the tech ecosystem, they just might be the beacon of hope the country needs. A Section 5 
The China Factor, a looming presence. In this section, we delve into the intricate dynamics between South Korea and China, two economic powerhouses in East Asia. To understand South Korea's export slowdown, we need to look beyond its borders. The global trade landscape is complex and interconnected, with each nation's economy influencing the others in myriad ways. China, South Korea's largest trading partner, is grappling with its own economic woes. The Chinese economy, once a beacon of rapid growth, is now facing significant challenges, including a slowing GDP growth rate and a volatile stock market. China's slowing growth has had a ripple effect across the globe, impacting demand for goods from countries like South Korea. The interconnected nature of global trade means that when one major player stumbles, others feel the tremors. As China grapples with a property market slump and weak consumer spending, its appetite for imports has diminished. The once booming property sector is now seeing a downturn, leading to reduced consumer confidence in spending. This has had a direct impact on South Korean exporters, particularly in sectors like technology and automobiles. South Korea, known for its cutting-edge technology and robust automobile industry, is feeling the pinch as demand from China wanes. Factories in South Korea are adjusting their production schedules and workers are facing uncertainty as orders from China decline. The ripple effects are being felt across various industries from small businesses to large conglomerates. How long will China's slowdown continue to cast a shadow over South Korea's economic prospects? Analysts are closely watching the situation, trying to predict the future of trade relations between these two nations. The economic outlook remains uncertain, with many variables at play. South Korean government officials are actively seeking ways to mitigate the impact, engaging in economic policy meetings and trade negotiations. The goal is to find new markets and diversify trade partnerships to reduce dependency on China. Meanwhile, South Korean companies are focusing on innovation and exploring new opportunities. From developing cutting-edge technologies to nurturing startups, the aim is to stay competitive in a challenging global market. The global economic trends are constantly evolving, and experts are continuously analyzing the data to provide insights. International trade conferences and discussions among economic experts are crucial in navigating these uncertain times. Despite the challenges, there is a sense of resilience and hope in South Korea. The nation is determined to overcome the hurdles and emerge stronger, adapting to the changing economic landscape with agility and innovation. Section 6. 